Okay, so we're gonna we're down in the basement. That is a wood boiler. Believe it or not, it's got two pipes. That means it must be a wood boiler. We gotta split another piece of wood here. I do it the old-fashioned way because it gets the exercise. Believe it or not, this is where the fuel goes in. We can stack the wood up to see that in a little while. You can see the size isn't real big. This is no kindling wood. Just regular firewood. It should be fairly dry, as with most gasifiers. Okay. I'm going to go back over here. So our storage tank, 350 gallons. Uh, that's the pump for the wood boiler. It's got one inch lines. Go overhead over to the uh, boiler. The other pump is for the heat. The heating loop. We're going to turn the differential controller on. Tank is 109 degrees. Okay, we come back over here. We have an induced draft fan right over there. Okay. And I have my junk mail. I save junk mail. I don't think there's anything too <coughs> personal you're going to see. The heck is that? Whatever it is, we burn it. Uh, okay. Now, I don't know if I can do this easily with one hand on the camcorder, but I'll give it a try. Gotta light a match here. Okay. There we go. I have to light the piece of paper away from the flue, away from the fuel too, because you see what happens here. The induced draft just pulls it right down in. It's just induced draft. You can hear it. Okay, the fire is going to start here. I just have this cap just because I don't need it, but it, it restricts some of the excess air. I got a smoke alarm overhead here. I don't know how many of you have a smoke alarm. Okay, over there in that proximity to the boiler. This is an unpressurized boiler. It does have a pressure relief valve on each leg because we have shutoffs here. So there's pressure relief between the heat exchanger on both legs. So there's no potential for things to blow up. That's always a wise thing. I'm going to go upstairs and watch TV for about 10 minutes and come back down and we'll see what's happening. Okay, so we're back downstairs. The uh, tank temperature is 109. The outlet temperature is 118. It's been running about 5 minutes. Let's go back over and peek down in here, see what's going on. There is fire. Get that piece of wood I didn't. I like to stick my hand down on the fuel tube because that's kind of an adventure. You can see we've got fire going, and that was hardwood. It is literally five minutes. You have to believe me on this because I don't have a clock running. And that is going. And what we can do now is we can drop, it's tiny, we'll drop that in there, but let's put some bigger pieces in. This is a full-size split, quarter of a something. 
Or we could just start stacking lumber up in there. I don't know if we can see that very well. Firewood is stacked up. And we can get about three plus feet of wood. This isn't very big. This is only about eight inches in diameter. I am going to change it out so it's bigger so we can get a really good charge of fuel. But the heat load of this house is pretty low, so we don't need to do much. Got a peephole here. You can kind of see. Something going on down there. It's not really gasifying classic sense. It's only been running five minutes. The stack temperature, surface temperatures, about 250. So that means the stack is around 350. And we'll check. We'll check it again in about 10 minutes. I know I said that last time, but this time we'll really wait 10 minutes. So it's 10 minutes later. Well, we've got a downdraft here. It's pretty easy for me to put my hand down in there because the fuel, you know, stays pretty cool except down in the combustion zone. And we can, we can pick up some wood. Okay. just load it up as best we can. With this size fuel tube, there's a lot of running up and down the stairs. That will be changed. <coughs> but for now, let's get this one. Something a little more petite to go in there. We, we try not to fill it so it'll fetch up. But a bigger, a bigger diameter here will make a difference. This is a double wall fuel tube. I have blocked off the double wall, the air gap, because um, I found it wasn't doing us anything, anything that we wanted. It wasn't doing anything special. We just put this back on. We let it go. Pretty much does its own thing. We'll check on it in a little while. Because this is all I do now, is I just keep coming back and forth to uh, to put wood into it. Let's just take a look at this side. You can see this side of the unit. Just two one-inch insulated lines, more or less insulated. Okay, so we one thing I want to point out is we use a galvanized flue pipe. You can see it's as shiny as the day it went in. Stack temperature usually never goes above about 300, 325. And we've had an inside a, a temperature a probe in this flue pipe, so we know what's going on. Combustion efficiency runs between 75 and 85 percent. Peek down in there and look at the fire again. You can see the fire is contained down at the bottom. The wood burns upside down and just falls into the fire by gravity. not that big of a hassle to take this apart. This is a very inexpensive device. Let's sneak, let's peek in the peephole there. If you can see much. Time to add some more wood. Paper label's still on there. That's for fire safety. <laughs> we can put this big one in now. I've been put in before. We'll just let that burn down. 